Welcome to the Modern Real Estate Investor Podcast, where we interview the biggest and most successful real estate entrepreneurs, investors, and capital raisers in the world to provide you with the tool sets, the mindsets, and the skill sets to help you conquer yourself, your life, your marriage, and use real estate as your wealth creation vehicle so that you can live a more successful, happy, and fulfilled life of growth and contribution. If what you're after is having it all, if what you desire is becoming the best version you can be across all areas, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, sentimentally, and financially, you've come to the right place. We will bring to you the best of the best real estate entrepreneurs who will give you the insights, knowledge, experience, and skills so that you can go out and crush it financially and across all areas of your life. Grab pencil and paper, sit back, enjoy, and you are welcome to the Modern Real Estate Investor Podcast. Hello, Modern Kings and Queens. Welcome to another episode of the Modern Real Estate Investor Podcast, where we interview some of the best and most experienced real estate investors, underwriters, operators, capital racers, to provide you with the tool sets, the mindsets, and the skill sets for you to conquer yourself, your life, your marriage, and use real estate as your wealth creation vehicle so that you can live a more successful, happy, and fulfilled life of growth and contribution. So today I have with me Rafael Ramos, a Mexican, so that's why I said your name like that, man. So Rafael Ramos is a real estate investor with a portfolio as a co-general partner, limited partner, private investor. So he's, you know, like he's played all the roles that you can play when it comes to uh, multifamily syndication and all of that. Um, and uh, he he invests in 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 all of those deals in Florida, in Montana, Nevada, Texas. And right now he's a managing partner and co-founder with Eagle Summit Equity and oversees underwriting and building strategic partnerships. So he's all about uh, underwriting deals, analyzing them and uh, building partnerships to be able to get the deal done. Rafael is passionate to see people become financially free through investing passively in real estate. That is one of the reasons why, obviously, he is here. Rafael, thank you very much uh, for being here, man. I really appreciate you and you're welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Alex. Very honored to be on your show and being here to share some value here. <laughs> thank you. Awesome, man. So look, the first thing that I do with my guests, man, is I actually ask them to walk us through their real estate investing journey in 75 seconds or less. Oh, great. Uh, so I started learning with the book, uh, with the, uh, Robert Kiyosaki's book. Um, so, sorry, I'm pausing, but, uh, yeah, Robert Kiyosaki's book, uh, just learning about real estate investing, um, rich dad, poor dad, just a mindset on, uh, entrepreneurship out of the W2 and just yeah. volunteering, um, with local, um, meetups and, um, other, other meetups uh, in the region. So what I, I seen was real estate investors. Uh, they had the most calm demeanor out of um, who I seen being interviewed uh, mm -hmm. locally. So I was like, wow, what do they do? So it, it just piqued in interest and curiosity. Like, what, what do they do? Uh, what, they seem more free of uh, freedom. So went to learn more, uh, bigger pockets, for example, took up more books on uh, entrepreneurship and real estate. Fast forward, uh, joined uh, meet up in New Jersey when I was in New Jersey for about three years. I uh, learned about multifamily. And my my initial impression of real estate investing is just single family homes. But when they talked about commercial multifamily, wow, you my mind, you can uh, do economies of scale. It's and, crazy, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Crazy that like all of those apartment buildings and apartment complexes that you see when you drive, you know, on the on the road. And in the cities and all of that are literally owned by people like me and you. That's crazy, right? Yes, very crazy. Nobody ever thought, uh, you know, thought, thought us, thought. How do you say that, man? Thought, thought us that. Yeah. Okay. Nobody ever said anything about that, man. That's crazy. So, um, actually, I was having a conversation with my wife this morning about, um, you know, taxes, because I, I. So, so one of the one of the people that I've one of the real estate investors that I've had on my, my podcast, his name is um, Alex. All right, Alex uh, something I don't remember, but he's into he's like a tax guy, right? Like he knows how to reduce your tax. He knows how to make money on taxes. He he's like a tax wizard, 
and I was I was looking at his webinar. He he does um he does webinars every single Carlos Alguero. That's his that's his name, man. Carlos Alguero. Uh, it's not Alex. It's Carlos Alguero. So he does webinars every single Wednesday, talking about different strategies, right? When it comes to investing in real estate. This past Wednesday, one of the strategies that he was talking about, and the classes are completely free every single Wednesday, was taxes, man. And the info and knowledge that he shared were just like out of this world. And I'm like, damn, nobody in my entire life ever mentioned that. That's crazy, right? Like, it's crazy to think that, man. So um, the way that you can that you can come across these type of information, this type of life changing information that could that could walk you down the path of achieving financial freedom, is by doing what you did, Rafael, which is you know pick up a book, right? Have the have that the intention of like self growth and wanting to grow and wanting to uh, develop yourself and grow and picking up a book because doing things like that, doing things like the thing that you did, like picking up. The Robert Kiyosaki's book, uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad, was what introduced you to the world of of real estate investing, right? Just by doing that, if you hadn't done that, you 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 wouldn't be where you are today, right? So that's it. Uh, so self education, man. So you started with that. You started attending to networking events. Started going. Started participating. Um, so what happened? Like, at what point did you did you do your first deal? Sure. Um, I'll, I'll take a step back where um, before doing the first deal, uh, I passively invested in a couple colleagues that are steps ahead of me uh, in their births uh, in Kansas City and in Florida where there's an Airbnb. It helped me learn and be motivated to the first deal while like learning and, and waiting. Um, what fast forwarded me to get into the first deal um, it was just joining a mentorship program was with my fiance in uh, Phoenix. So we, we went to a conference and learned about multifamily um, and a lot of uh, motivational aspects about multifamily. And uh, at that time I was on the fence where I wanted to do either single family burr, which is uh, buy, rent, rehab, re yeah. refinance, repeat, or uh, just go straight into a multifamily. Um, my, I do like doing um, like economies of scale. Um, my, I usually work on large projects during the day, during my day job. So I think it's very transferable with multifamily apartments. Uh, we moved forward and got into the mentorship program. Uh, and while well, just one year in, became a limited partner in a deal in Texas. And just earlier this year, a co-general partner in Phoenix uh, with other partners. So just being surrounded by people that push you, uh, like fiance and being with accountability groups uh, helped push me to get to the first deal. Cool, man. Um, that's awesome. <clears throat> so as a general partner, I know like you, your superpower is like, uh, uh, underwriting, right? Underwriting and, and everything when it comes to project management and um, also building key partnerships. So can you, t can you tell me a bit about what you um, bring to the table on, you know, as a strategic partner and like your superpower of underwriting? Can you talk to me about that? How did you find out you, you were good at that? And, and, uh, and yeah, what was the journey of you becoming an underwriter? Sure. Underwriter. Uh, it, transferable skills. Uh, my most of my career, I was in a mix of financial services, banking, um, in, insurance, and uh, doing a lot of Excel um, work. So making sure that the data is correct. Uh, working with large data sets, uh, where we work with employee censuses. Where uh, I, I work in the health insurance industry we call health insurance. So transferable skills, uh, ensuring projects are done of uh, different aspects of the whole life cycle of um, the project is being coordinated. Uh, so very transferable to being in the area of underwriting and uh, coordinating different parts of the deals. Also 
communication with all stakeholders, all parties of um, the whole transaction, whether it's internal within the company, external with our clients, or external with our clients' employees, for example. So that's how I found out in general where underwriting and uh, key partnerships come to play. Mm, nice. So how can, can you tell me about like the story of how the underwriting looked and went in that deal that you participated as a general partner in Phoenix? Hello, morning kings and queens. At my company, Millionaire Network Automation, we believe in the power of networking. We believe that in real estate, your net worth is your network. This is why we help real estate investors raise capital by connecting them with their ideal investors and helping them build a massive network of their ideal investors in less than 30 days and with only four hours of work per week. If you're interested in this, click the link below in the description of this podcast to learn how you can propel your growth with a reliable system that will consistently help you connect with your ideal investors, build trust, add value, get your investors to promote you and put you in front of more of their investor friends and raise more capital faster and in a much more effortless way so that you can achieve your financial freedom and still have the time and the energy to pour into every single other area of your life. So go watch the training and you're going to have the opportunity to book a call to talk about how you can get this 100% done for you system implemented in the next five days. So thank you for watching and I'll see you later and enjoy the rest of the, this episode. Bye-bye. Sure. In, in a nutshell, nutshell we, we partner with other more experienced partners. So we, as partners, really double check the numbers, uh, really double check um, the experience of our partners there. Uh, mm -hmm. and they really take care of the property since we're more uh, newer on the spectrum, uh, just really doing our due diligence, double checking everything, making sure we get the ball rolling on timing as well. So man, the people who listen to this podcast are people who, um, you know, are real estate investors, people who have, who are real estate, who are investing into real estate either passively or are investing actively. Some of them don't know yet, but every single person that listens to this podcast has chosen to use real estate as a wealth creation vehicle, right? So a lot of the people that, that, you know, that listen to and will listen to this are going to be some aspiring, active multifamily real estate investors who may be looking to do their first deal and who may be looking to uh, get in a partnership with someone who might complement their skill set to be able to tackle a, a deal down together, right? So you were able to accomplish this. Um, you, you were able to land a partnership. So could you tell me the story of how that went? Like, how is it, how was it that you were able to, um, you know, partner on a deal with someone and become a general partner? Sure. Uh, I joined a local accountability group. Mm -hmm. uh, and surprisingly, there's members that are pretty much around the nation. So joined the account accountability group and just continue looking for deals, continue being creative um, for uh, finding deals, like whether off-market or uh, networking, um, always uh, reaching out to create more relationships. So yeah. uh, there was a, the timing as well where some partners uh, needed uh, funds to be in the deal. So uh, the timing was, okay, our, our team was able to uh, raise a piece of the pie uh, together and uh, f fill in the bigger piece together. Uh, so it was more uh, helping with um, timing, value, and um, some, some capital uh, where the bigger, more experienced partners uh, needed uh, extra capital at that time. All right, so it's all about bringing some value to the table, right? Um, <clears throat> Rafael, let's see. So, man, do you have any deals that you may be working right now? Uh, wh wh where is it that you focus on? You're, you, I think you're located in California, right? That is correct, in Southern yeah. California. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> where, like, what area are, are you, like, go to when it comes to doing some multifamily deals? What is your focus right now? What is it that sure. you're working on? Sure, uh, mainly underwriting and under identifying deals. Uh, work with different partner teams. So one team concentrates in Arizona, Phoenix, and Tucson. And another accountability 
team and partners, uh, we concentrate on Ohio, uh, Georgia, and um, Philadelphia area. Like, uh, so like different parts of the nation and even uh, the Midwest, like Texas. So we, we try to keep a pipeline going. Um, some other partners are boots on the ground in each specific location. Mm -hmm. And we, we keep the funnel going as much as possible. Hmm. All right, man. Cool. <clears throat> so then you have different accountability groups. So you're part of an accountability group and different teams in that accountability group focus on trying to find deals in different areas. Is that what you mean? That is correct. And we okay. still work together, uh, but we, we help keep um, the deal, deal flow or uh, identification of properties going versus nice. just one, one area. So every it's great where uh, you have different areas, but at the same time, you just have to control um, our communication as well. Nice, man. So, that it, you know, it sounds like being part of that network of that accountability group is pretty cool. So <clears throat> are there any resources that you might be looking for right now? Uh, resources, uh, more more properties, more deals to look at. Um, definitely more capital when the, the deal aligns. And yeah, just definitely uh, more great people to network with. Cool. Oh, so, man, um, you know, if anyone out there wants to connect with you because maybe they want to know more about that accountability group or, or, you know, they heard you saying that you're connected with people who are focused on the areas of Tucson, Phoenix, Ohio, and all of these different places. Right. And they want to be like, Oh, like I want to, I'm looking for properties there. So I'm going to reach out to him. So, so if anyone wants to reach out, man, um, because you know, they might be interested in, in, in getting to know you, they may be interested in what you've mentioned here and or they they might have some resource that that could that they could provide it to you right whether that's a deal you know some deals in some of the areas that you that you mentioned or or capital maybe they're a capital racer where would be the best place for them to find you rafael sure uh, can you visit me at my website eagle summit equity .com, okay or feel free to email me on uh, rafael at eagle summit equity .com. cool all right and then your social media, man. Um, let's see. Do you know your social media handles? Oh, yes. So I have two handles. So it's my, my personal real estate. So Rafael Ramos, REI. Uh huh. And then Eagle Summit Equity. Cool. Great. So we'll, we'll have all of that um, wherever this appears, right? Like the link to your website, to your Facebook, to your Instagram, to your LinkedIn, wherever this appears. We're really good at that, man. So um, any last words that you may want to share, man? Sure. Uh, again, Alex, it is an honor to be, be here and share, share value together. And yeah, if, if you're continuing to have goals, just continue to push forward every day, whether it's small, uh, no matter how small you push forward, it adds up for the whole year and years to come. So just continue pushing forward, know what your why is, know what your passion is, and yeah, just bring as much value and always uh, improve yourself every day. Awesome, brother. I appreciate that. So um, it's been a pleasure getting getting the opportunity to talk to you, learn from you, and connect with you here, man. Um, I've enjoyed it. Thank you very much. And I'll see you later, okay? Thank you very much, Alex. Have a great one. Thank you for listening to the Modern Real Estate Investor Podcast. We want you to know that we love and appreciate you. And we are super grateful about being part of your journey of becoming a successful real estate entrepreneur and having it all. Please share this episode with a friend who you think will be impacted positively. Send it to someone who you know is interested in real estate and dreams of having it all and being the best they can be across all areas. And if you thought this episode was really valuable, share it on your social media as a post or a story. We have a special gift for all of those who contribute to the Modern modern kings and queens movement. So for those of you who decided to share this episode and help us spread our message, send me a message letting me know on any social media platform at Alex Ramirez, the modern king. I have a special surprise for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.